In this demo, I will show you how to create a service with system D. Um, as an example, I will create a hello world daemon uh, script, which is a, just a simple shell script. It has a function hello start in which it starts an endless loop uh, and shows hello world, the date and the time, sleeps for 10 seconds and uh, remains in this loop forever. I also define the hello stop um, function which stops it, which kills the previous uh, script it uh, finds. Uh, in fact, that's not necessary because systemd can do itself, stop a previous service, but that way it uh, remains compatible with the previous system5 uh, system. Uh, uh, so I can use the command service to service uh, hello world uh, stop and service hello world start to. That's uh, why I uh, make a start and stop function. So if I, uh, I define the case, I say if the first argument one is start, then it has to start the function hello start. When the first argument is stop, it has to uh, perform the stop and the kill uh, function. That's why it says just a, a simple script, which is endless. Uh, this script, I will uh, place this script into the directory user local system bin because it's a service um, just a moment. I'll copy hello world to this location okay and right now I want to define a system uh, D unit which uh, defines the service I uh, made um, to create a unit, you, I have to define. Uh, I have to create a file which is the name of the service. In my case, this is uh, "Hello World D," the daemon of "Hello World," um, and the extension for a service is point service uh, dot service. Huh? So um, the most important parts, the most important parts are the unit part and the service part. The unit part part. Uh, is a section which defines a description of a service and it says when this service has to start. So I uh, said it has to start when uh, the multi-user target is started, is ready. Uh, so when the multi-user system, which is kind of the default system for uh, my Linux, is uh, active. Uh, other uh, possibilities for a target, for example, are the network point target. When a network is started, uh, then your service will start, yeah, which is uh, the case for a web server, for example. Next section is the service section. So I have to define what kind of uh, service I create. It's just a simple service. That means uh, this will start directly the, the script of the service and not another program. Another um, possibility would be forking. Yeah, if I, uh, if I, my um, shell script uh, starts up another um service or another uh, program, then it's a forking uh, service. Um, other things to define are, for example, the, the exec start uh, parameter, which says uh, which script it has to start. It has to start slash user slash local slash has been hello world D with the first parameter start to start it. The first parameter stop to stop it. I also added here uh, for this case an infinity uh, timeout because otherwise um, system D might think that there's something wrong with starting the server. It might say, uh, oh, uh, it's 10 minutes now and this service still, this start script still hasn't finished and because it's infinite. I will uh, add the parameter infinity uh, to have no problem with that. Normally uh, you don't have to do this. The last section is man is not uh, the last section is something you can choose. Eh? This, it's um, the sec this section will say if this your service is startable or stoppable um, when your system reboots. Um, so I do define it as it's a multi-user target. It has it's wanted. It's needed by the multi-user target. That way I can use the command uh, systemctl enable and systemctl disable. Otherwise I couldn't do that. So this is a very simple but um, basic uh, service that I can use. Uh, to use this service I have to copy it to the uh, systemd uh, folders which are etc systemd systemd 
system and um, this directory will uh, the tab you'll see that the other services are provided there too uh, these are the services which are in fact local uh, add them local um, the system services they have their own uh, directory which is uh, in user lib system d so these are the extra services or the um, the difference between the existing services so i provide my um hello world service file here hello world point service in this uh, location that way it's um, registered as a, as a service right now systemd doesn't know that i did place some files here so if i do a system ctl start hello world d world d uh, it will say there's something wrong uh, there's uh, there's a new file hello world d it changed uh, so you do have to uh, start the um, system ctl daemon reloads and uh, this way the system ctl will know and uh, will load the new uh, hello world uh, daemon right now i can start hello world as you can see uh, nothing happens because it's a service it uh, runs in background uh, you can see what happens if you do a journal CTL. Um, uh, if I just do journal CTL, it will just uh, show all uh, messages of the log file. It's too much. Eh? I can't see my own service here. So I will uh, say journal CTL ha only has to show the my unit, unit hello world D. Da -da. Uh, that way I will see the hello world service problem with this is that um, there yeah, I've, I've done some experiments today these are previous files I still have to look out for the last uh, lines okay the last line is okay it shows hello world every 10 seconds now um, another way to get only the last lines is to say journal CTL min unit hello world uh, min n 10 just to show the uh, the number of lines the 10 uh, last lines voilà. um, another thing I can use is or, or is interesting because it doesn't show uh, if a service is running if it fails or, or didn't fail is um, always to show the status of a, a service so the status shows it is active right now the hello world service is active um, I can do a stop now or a restart even stop hello world I don't see if it stopped I can only see if it stops if I uh, ask the status of hello world demon and then it shows it's uh, inactive uh, these are most important things another thing I can do is uh, maybe uh, enable it every time the system reboots uh, it will also start up or not uh, the, the hello world service so i do a system ctl enable hello world d that way my hello world service will always uh, be enabled if it boots uh, i think an enable started too can, no it doesn't start it so i still have to start it or restart it it does understand commands uh, uh, system d knows uh, even if i did not define the restart function it knows it has to uh, start start up this uh, new service voila I can still have a look at my log too um, because it stopped and started then you can see it in the last log lines that it's uh, stopping stopped and uh, restarted so now it runs uh, forever I'm gonna disable it though because I don't want it running all the time a hello world message in my log files is kind of stupid so I will uh, disable it that it doesn't start um, this service well it uh, removed the link to the uh, automatic starting of the service uh, and I will stop it too well that's the way uh, the you can uh, provide uh, your own uh, service as a system D service